Hey guys, how's it going? Um, DUJ2 here, and no, this is not a trailer reaction to the new Kingdom Hearts 3 trailers. Um, this, this is something else. Uh, as, as you guys know too, I personally don't do the reactions on the, I don't do them on the Japanese uh, ones anymore. I wait for the, um, I wait for the release of the videos. Uh, I release, oh sorry, the English versions. Uh, so I am going to do a trailer reaction when that happens. The one thing too is when I do a trailer reaction of those videos, there's not going to be music on them. As a lot of you guys know why that is. and But we're not going to get into that. Um, but what we're going to talk about right now is something else. And first of all, thank you to Neko. Neko Star for bringing this to our attention. And second of all, thank you very much to Kingdom Hearts Insider. If you guys don't know what Kingdom Hearts Insider is, khinsider.com. I'm going to leave a link down below to this article. I don't know what to think, guys. I don't know what to think about this. This is kind of this is kind of too much. So if we go to KH Insider, um, there is this. Game Watch. Union crosses link with Kingdom Hearts 3 PvP and brand new worlds. It was released today? Yeah, it was released today. Um the Kingdom Hearts fan event at D23 Expo Japan 2018 didn't just cover Kingdom Hearts 3. Some new information regarding Kingdom Hearts Union Cross was also revealed. Translation down below, thanks to uh, Seiken, Saken, I'm sorry, I don't know. Um, okay, so ch check this out. About Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, there were updates on its progress as well as Nomura talking with fellow staff about future developments. Now, also, I don't know why that is like... Um, why it's see-through i have no clue why it that just happened i don't know about kingdom hearts union cross and again i'm going to leave a link down below so you guys can can read this um about kingdom hearts union cross there were updates on this progress as well as nomura talking with fellow staff of future developments here's an expert excerpt of what was said so he talked to this fellow staff i don't know is that staff from kh insider or staff on the game i don't know they're planning, okay, so here it is, bullet points. They're planning player versus player contents to work like the current Coliseum, and that's for KH3. So player versus player content in, in K, in no, in Union Crop, wait. It'll be real-time battles. It will not be real-time battles, planned for release sometime in spring. So this is for K, this is for Union Cross. Player versus player content to work like current coliseum so you're gonna get to go what what does that game room that reminds me of a game oh uh it reminds me of, of cats that reminds me of like cats so this is all k2x this reminds me of cats um let me put the chat on because a lot of people are talking about this right now um so that reminds me of cats you know where you have the player versus player uh crash arena turbo stars uh, where you have the player versus player content, but it's not real time. It's like, you know, you're just going up against the latest version of someone. About Okay, next one. About linking Union Cross and Kingdom Hearts 3. They're planning to have something like if you play Union Cross, something special work will occur in KH3, etc. So that kind of feels like, um, and I mentioned this before, kind of, I mean, the, for the first experience I've had, I haven't had anything like that where one game really influenced another one was way back in Pokemon Coliseum, where if you guys remember, if you, oh, probably going to get dinged for saying that. Uh, remember if you guys had like in on the Game Boy, if you did something on your Game Boy, it could affect, you know, your game in on the game, you know? So that's like the, that's like the best reference I can have of that. Um, but I can understand where this is all going to be online. So if we do something in our game, if we get something, if we pull for something, it could unlock. And I hate to say this, um, DLC. I mean, that's, this is, that's like the best way that I can, I can, I can reference this, you know, um, you do something in this game, it will unlock something like a skin or, you know, or like a different set of a different stripes on your Capris. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, 
hopefully it won't be paywall -y like Union Cross is at certain times where certain content is behind the paywall, but I can understand how the Union Cross paywall could benefit you in KH3. You know what I mean? Because we all know how unpleasant the experience uh this past year was with the uh the star wars thing you know that ea did with the dlc and all that or, or the the loot boxes or whatever um so it's very possible that future games will try to avoid that and this would be a really great way around it i mean connecting to a mobile game to unlock other stuff in a game you know what i mean um okay so the title of this video is going to be project x-rays because that's what it's called about the link with kh3 again nomura calls it project x-rays kh3 and union cross will closely bind together we will understand what this means this year union cross main scenario will henceforth rapidly develop Ventus is that Ventus. If you play KH3, then it will all connect. Let me think. Let me let, let me just let that sink in for a second. Ventus is that Ventus. Up until now, Union Cross has been using worlds that we have already visited in existing titles. However, from here on out, the worlds that appear will be completely new, unseen before in previous games. At that point, the story will suddenly progress on and change, as well as the playable content. Um, so of course, of course, this is going to affect JP first, but but I will say this. Um, we know that the NA version and JP version are rapidly colliding. I mean, they are rapidly reaching the same point. And I wouldn't be surprised, and we were talking about this earlier, I wouldn't be surprised that um, for like the NA anniversary, that they release something, you know, they, they, they finally release something game-changing at the same time. So, um, I mean, I would love to see Tier 8s be a thing in you know in or or maybe the next uh the next uh the next buffer uh upgrade or, or level up you know to be a thing first up um in na and then like the next day in jp or at the exact same time but announced first in a and na because they must have seen by now the absolutely ridiculous like just increase in in or, or just the size of the NA community. Um, and I, I have to say this again, I think a lot of this is credit to the fact that they finally communicated. They finally got the, the people who work on Twitter and everything. They they finally opened the line of communication between the fans and the players of K2X and the and Square Enix, you know. So that did definitely make a big difference. I mean, we were always here. I mean, the fans were always here, the players were always here. Um, and we know that Square Enix did, had slight attempts along the time, you know, to try and connect with us. Uh, but definitely it was, you know, it, definitely it was more us, you know, it was like reaching out and it, it happened. I mean, it took about a, it took over a year, but it happened. <coughs> okay. So the last thing is a collaboration with Final Fantasy Record Keeper was announced. I'm not going to get into that. I'm going to leave that for someone else to discuss and click. The, if you want to do, you can click that link and you can go to it. I'm not that. I'm concerned about it, but I'm not as hyped about that because see, this is the thing, guys. This is the thing. This what we're seeing here. And again, it's it's on KH Insider and I, you know, it's KH Insider. Um, this is. This is gigantic, guys. I mean, like, like this is this is the kind of thing that we've been talking about for, for, like, forever. Okay, we've been talking about. If if you guys have been watching me for a long time, you guys remember a year and a half ago or longer when I was talking, and I I I I wished for this. 
I wish for the connection for this. I, because I've been saying KHUX is the most amazing platform they could ever have wished for. A chance to develop the world beyond what we already have, beyond what we've already known, to, to, to just create an entire, not only backstory, but a rich environment that can give so much meaning and explain so much more than you can in a single game because this is a real time game it's it's pretty it's very strategy too based but it's a real time game that doesn't go away it updates every week sometimes twice a week there is so much that you can do with khux as a platform to develop the kingdom hearts world and the universe and this this is like, this is amazing. Like, I, I don't know if you guys are reading the same thing I am here, but this is just amazing. Okay. I mean, interactivity between a, a console game and this, I mean, okay. For, for to, I don't know if anyone out there played Hitman and played like the Hitman mobile version. Like that was, that was developed. Okay. But it was never fully, I mean, it came so much after too, but it was never fully integrated to the point where you could, you could like real time affect something in your game or see something as an update connected to the other game. And th what they're, what this is saying right here is, I mean, I, the one, the Project X-Rays, KH3 and Union Cross will closely bind together. We will understand what this means this year. 2018 is just, just, it, it's, it, it is that Ventus too. <laughs> it is Ventus. Um, I don't know. I mean, and this is the, up until now, Union Cross has been using worlds that have been visited in existing titles. However, from here on out, the worlds that appear will be completely new, unseen before in previous games. At that point, the story will suddenly progress on and change as well the playable content. Do you guys realize what that means? We can have in our game unique worlds, which opens the door for Kingdom Hearts 4, or Kingdom Hearts 5, in the future to richly immerse us in the graphical side of a, of, of a world. I mean, think about it. If you If we had... Okay, let me make a bunch of people angry. If we had Star Wars, <laughs> okay, <laughs> if we had Star Wars in the KHUX version, all right, do you guys realize how deeply immersive they could make it? I mean, let's be realistic here. Let's be realistic here. Disney bought Star Wars for a reason, okay? Disney loves Star Wars and Star Wars is in is is in everything. If you guys look, if you guys check out anything in I mean walk into a Disney store. Everything is integrating with Star Wars, you know? It's it's so I mean we can't expect them not to commercialize and 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 be on that. But I I'm just giving this as an example. I'm just saying it as an example. Um, okay, fine. Zootopia. Let's do Zootopia. So if we had in our game, in our two dimensional, you know, I've been heard, I've heard it called a lot of things, but in our two dimensional game, having a, I don't know, you, you could travel through the different zones in Zootopia. Okay. Or what was it? Bunny Burrow? You know, just that. And then the fact that that being introduced could be used as a platform for so much more. I mean, the possibilities and <sighs> some sums might become collectibles. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, oh my goodness. Yes. Made my heart skip a beat there. <laughs> um, it, it's, it, I mean, th this, this right here is probably it could be the beginning of something beautiful. 
it could just be the beginning of something so absolutely incredible that no one has ever attempted to do before. The following that Kingdom Hearts has connected to a mobile game, connected to the fact that there is a, in a very large game, a very large game that we all have on our phones, okay? Connect that within a universe and a fan base like Kingdom Hearts. <sighs> the sky's the limit. I mean, we could actually see Kingdom Hearts like climb and climb and be a dominant game in both console and just in, in, in the game scenario. I mean, it has the potential. OK, I'm going to stop before I pass out because I'm like my brain is just exploding, guys. My brain is exploding with the possibilities of what they could do. And yes. Uh, as you guys know, I am a realist. I also see the incredibly gigantic marketing opportunity this has and the financial opportunity this has for Square Enix and for Disney. This is gigantic. We already know how much we spend and how much people spend on the mobile game. And we have bought... <laughs> on, okay, honestly, honestly, I really think that if you buy VIP for like... 10 times you should get a free copy of kh3 <laughs> like seriously like i'm not kidding like like that would be that would be something that they totally should do they totally should do that for like introducing because that would not only connect the fan base but it would be like hey you're already playing kingdom hearts union cross hey you've already bought vip 10 times 20 times whatever they want to say it here you go Here's a free copy of Kingdom Hearts 3 because you know what? You're going to keep spending. <laughs> You're going to keep spending on Kingdom Hearts on KHUX because it's going to unlock content in KH3. You know. Last thing I want to say is like, yeah, like like Adam just said right now on YouTube. I've hoped I've hoped that the KHUX fan event that's going to happen in April in California, I've hoped that that was going to be an event where they were going to develop Kingdom Hearts, the world, as something, the universe of Kingdom Hearts. I mean, I'm sure they're going to have some information about KH3 or something, um, but after reading this, after reading this, I can see them creating, I, I can see them like announcing this kind of stuff. I can see them announcing so much more that is going to connect the millions and millions of Kingdom Hearts fans that still haven't discovered KHRX. That's going to connect them with that. And if you tell people there's a mobile, I mean, I've, I've said this to people before, like in the cold weather, I love wearing that, that scarf that I have, the Kingdom Hearts star, scarf. I cannot tell you how many people comment when I wear it and they're like, oh, cool, you're into Kingdom Hearts. And I'm like, yeah, and I'm also into KHUX, Union Cross. I still, I still have not met a single person who has told me, oh, yeah, I play, I know what that is, or I play Union Cross. Everyone that I ever interact with always says, what's that? There is such a gigantic community and the, and the Union Cross community grows every single day. I, I actually know that to be a fact because I look at the numbers for downloads on Google Play and, uh, and, Apple, I, and the Apple Store. And I also see it in my Google Analytics for my YouTube channel. The amount of new viewers that there are to Union Cross is it, it continues to grow. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. If you guys want to read this, if you guys want to go see it for yourself, of course, I will leave a link down below in the description. 
I don't even know, guys. I mean, th this, this, this is, this is something else. This is on a whole nother level. I mean, I don't. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.